Hello, my lovely grade two students. This is Mr. Carson, your math teacher. Hope you are all doing very well. On this video, we are going to do a quick review of what we've learned so far. So you have to have your learner's book with you and follow the instructions that I give you throughout this video. Whenever you want to write something or answer the exercises, Pause the video, then continue. Let's start. Open page 10 on your learner's book. Now, the first thing you see that there's number 14 inside a circle and there's some branches. It asks you to tell us or to write how many combination of numbers you can add up together to get number 14. For example, you have 11 plus 3, we have 10 plus 4, we have 9 plus 5, and so on. Do the others on your own. Think about it and do it. The second part, it asks you to sort the numbers from 0 to 20 in the Venn diagram. The even numbers are here, the even numbers are any number that ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Any number that ends with 0, 2, 6, 4, 8 are even numbers. And the others that are outside the diagram are odd numbers. Now, we have a number line. It asks you to show number 18 on this number line. This is 0, this is 10, and this is 20. So you should know that number 18 is between number 10 and number 20. So it's not here. It's here. Now the, the middle part between 10 and 20 is actually 15, number 15. So now we know number 18 is not here too. Let's go to the end part. 15, now we count it, 16, 17, 18. 18 is here. So you should mark where the number 18 is on the number line. After you finish this, we'll go to next page, page 11. As you see, we see numbers around us, everywhere. Wherever you look, it's, for example, at your cell phone, at your laptop, at your iPad, at your TV, at your clock. Everywhere you look, you see numbers. So that's why knowing numbers and knowing how to deal with numbers and work with numbers is important because it's a big part of our life. You can see that from this picture, there are many, many numbers, such as this number, these numbers, a number on that book, and so on. Try to look carefully and find each and every number. All right? This is a quick exercise to get started. Let's go to the next page, which is the start of our section, section 1.1, which is numbers 200. In this section, we will talk about the numbers from 0 to 100. And the most important part on this page that you have to pay attention is there are some key words that you have to learn throughout this section. You can use a dictionary for better understanding them or follow the instruction of this video throughout the lesson to better understand them and learn them. The first one is column, the second one is digit, the third one is placeholder, the fourth one is representation, and the last one is row. Now let's look at these numbers. It starts from one and ends with a hundred. Alright? As you can see, Numbers are combined with two or three combinations, such as we call them digits. 
we have two digit numbers such as 24 here. This is a two digit number. The first part of it is number four, the, the first digit, and the second digit is 20. You gotta know how to separate the numbers into their digits, into, into their ones and tens and hundreds maybe. As you can see, it's already solved one example for us. Number 24. Now you go practice more on the other numbers. For example, I'm going to give you a number and you should work on it and see what number you'll get. For example, we'll do number 53. 53, tell me what is the ones and what is the tens. After you finish that, we'll go to the next page. And if you are struggling with it, the first digit is 3 and the second one is 50. Good job. Now, let's go to the other page. On page 13, exercise 1.1. Question 1. Write the missing number. So, as you can see, we have number 26. We separate it to its ones and tens. The first one is the number 20, and the second one is number 6. So 20 plus 6 equals to 26. The other one is 50 plus 8. The right side of the equation is solved, but the left side is not. So we're going to do the left side. 50 plus 8 is going to be 58. All right? Let's write it nicely. 58. Now you do this one. Work example. Work on this pattern. This is a row from the 100 squares. It starts from number 21 and ends with number 30. So now there are some blank spaces, blank squares. We're going to fill them. Number 21. We go to number 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. As you see, this exercise has been answered below. If you are struggling, struggling while solving this equation or this exercise, use these numbers to help you. After you have finished with this page, let's go to the next one. We have more number patterns. That the first one starts with number 31 and ends with number 40. You should write the missing numbers. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. This one is also the same and this one is also the same. You gotta fill the spaces and answer it correctly. Now, this is a column, okay? This is a row. This one is a row. And this one is a column. Now you do it in a column way. While doing it in this way, you al always add 10 to it. For example, this is number 2. You add 10 to it, it will be 12. You add 10 to it again, it will be 22. You add 10 again, it will be 32. You add 10 again, it will be 42, and so on. You always add 10 while doing it in the column. After finishing this, we'll go to the next page. We have more exercises for this. Doing it in a column, in a column style, you always add 10 for each section, for each square. So 5 plus 10 is 15, plus 10, 25, plus 10, 35, plus 10, 45, and then so on. You do the same with this, with this part, and with this part. Always add 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. After finishing this, go to the next page, which is there are 
numbers that you should investigate. It starts from number one and ends with number hundred. How is every row in the hundred square the same? It starts with one and ends with ten. It starts with what? It ends with ten. So what the ones and tens? How is every row different? You should talk about this. Okay, answer it and investigate why it's the same and why it's different. After finishing this. Now we go to page 17, which is counting objects. As you can see, this is a 10 frame. Wait. This is a 10 frame. Inside of each 10 frame, there are 10 objects. There's only place for 10 objects to be in it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is 10. This is another 10, and this is another 10. 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals to 30. 10, 20, 30. Now, on the last 10th frame, we have only two filled places. So, the number is 30 plus 2, it equals to 32. You should write number 32 here. These one, these building blocks are also 10 each. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 10 is 30, plus 10 is 40. And now you count the single ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is 47. Now you do this exercise on your own and solve this one. Each one of these silver coins are 10. So this is 10. This is also 10, this is also 10, 10, and also this, and this, and this. And this is 1. Add them together and see what number you get. After finishing this page, go to page 18. On question 5, you see that number 53 is separated into the 1s and the 10s. This is an example for you to understand. And now you do your own numbers, okay? Now do your own numbers, write different numbers, such as 47 maybe. Now, there's seven and this is 40. Now, this is 62 maybe. Two and 60. You should do other numbers on your own and try to create your own numbers. After that, go to the other section, other, the question six. Here are some pieces of 100 square. Write the missing numbers. A piece of advice. While doing this kind of puzzles, we can say, when you go down, you always add 10. All right? When you go up, you always minus it by 10. When you go right, you plus it by 1. When you go left, you minus it by 1. Let me do the first one for you. So 4, when you go down, going down is adding 10. Always remember, going down is adding 10. 4, it will be 14. Going down again, 14 plus 10 is 24. Let me make it bigger. Twenty four. Now, when you go to the right, you add one, only one. When you go to the right, you add one. Add one to it, it will be twenty five. Okay. So now. We write number 25. Now let's do this one. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. But here, for, below number 8, we go down one step. So you we add 10. It will be number 18.
And this is another example that I will solve to help you better understand it, and you do the others on your own. 32 plus 10 is 42. 42 plus 10 is 52. 52 plus 1 is 53. 54. Right. 54. 55. Now, when you go up, you minus it by 10. Remember, going down, add by 10. Going up, minus by 10. 45. Minus 10 again, 35. This is how you do these type of questions. And now, do this and this and this on your own. After finishing this page, I advise you to pause the video and finish it. Then, after that, we'll go to the next page. Here are some things that you should ask yourself. I can say read and write numbers from 0 to 100. Can you do that? Can you say read and write all the numbers between 0 and 100? If you can, you are ticking a happy face. I can say and represent the value of each digit in a two-digit number. If you can do that, tick that too. I can count and on and back in steps of 1 and 10 from any number using the 100 square for support. If you can do that and have that skill, tick that too. Thank you so much. This was section 1.1. After that, we'll go to start section 1.2.